Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for checking in. Today I want to talk to you about something that's a little bit more personal. Um, I'm going to tell you about my experience with an organization and with uh, what this month is. If all of that sounds confusing, let me start by saying that I am the mother of a son with autism. My son was diagnosed as a three-year-old and at the time they diagnosed him as being uh, low functioning. He got occupational therapy and speech therapy, uh, feeding therapy, and he is amazing. He has come so far in such a short amount of time and I have to say that it is all because of the wonderful village that uh, we've created for him, his teachers, his educators, the people in his life, all the people that are part of this team to help my son uh, live in a world that he is trying to understand. That brings me to today's video and it is Autism Awareness Month. Yesterday was actually Autism Awareness Day. And for my uh, weekly nails, I decided to put on these beautiful Color Street Nails that my friend sent to me. Color Street Nails are amazing. What they are is they are nail polish, real nail polish on these um, little strips. And these little strips then you place on your fingernails and you rip them off and then after that you are left with honest to goodness nail polish that you do not have to dry. These particular ones, so you can see that, are the autism awareness ones. The, um, the chosen symbol for autism awareness is uh, the puzzle piece and it's usually in um, multicolored puzzle pieces. The reds, the yellows, and the blues are what they traditionally are. And um, as you can see, I usually do like an accent nail with these. Uh, I'm just not bold enough to put all of them on my fingertips. So I've gone ahead and taken off all the polish from um, this nail as well as this one. And no, I'm not flipping you off. They're my ring fingers. I've gone ahead and taken the polish off. They've been filed and buffed using my Pay. And now I just need to open this. My uh, really good girlfriend, she uh, sells these, and um, uh, if you're interested in ordering some Color Street nails, I will, um, if you leave me a message in the comments, I will definitely give you her information. So what they look like is, like I said, they're all individual nails. Each one of these kits or sets comes with, what is that, 16. So depending on how you, um, depending on if you use all of your fingernails or you do some toes or if you just do an accent nail, you can get multiple uses out of these. And it's neat, as you can see, there's one um, big enough for a thumb my this one actually fits my toe all the way down to your itty bitty pinky finger so you just find the one that fits you best let's see i think that it's going to be my favorite the puzzle pieces the multicolored so i just all i did is i ripped this little bad boy off now i've already gone through and wiped this finger with um, an alcohol pad so that it's nice and clean the first part you do is take off this clear piece, set it there, and then you see there's this little silver piece. You're going to go ahead and pull this part off. I like to take this little, take that little piece off, and you can see it's already trying to stick to my fingers. So it looks like that. I'm going to pull the nail polish sticker 
and place it on my finger like that. Now, I'm not sure if I can do this backwards, but I'm sure going to try. Kind of adhere it to your fingernail. I'm sure they use much better ways to describe it than I just did. No, it says apply to the nail, gently stretch it to fit. Okay, you can see that I have gone ahead and done that and I have all this little excess off. Now, my friend Melanie told me that you can literally just go rip this extra little piece off and then take your little file. It comes with a file. I don't know where I set mine, but it does. Oh, there it is. It does come with a file. So I'll just take my little file. Nope, apparently it doesn't want to come out so easily. So you can just do like I do and rip this bad boy off. Take your little file and then file this bad boy down. And voila. That's it. And now I have one of my nails done. Now I still have the leftover from this bit and my fingers are pretty small. So what I like to do, because I am pretty darn frugal, is I usually will find a smaller part of my nail or attempt, attempt to use this on the rest of my other nail. So I'm gonna try to do that now. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depends on the length of my nails, but this one actually worked really well <clears throat> because it was already pretty short. Now I'm just going to take the little file that's provided and file down this place. Now normally I, um, I have a really difficult time uh, doing my nails on my right hand. I think we all do or I guess if you're left handed you would have a hard time doing your left hand. But what's really great about these is they are they're pretty much foolproof. Let's just call it that. Because all you're doing is you're placing a, um, I guess I, I like to call it like a nail sticker. You place your nail sticker on your finger. Sorry, there are little pieces that get on you. Um, you place one of those on there and that's it. And believe it or not, it lasts for a really long time. It uh, kind of gives off more of a gel effect. Um, so you need to be very careful when you take it off, follow the directions and you'll be fine. But I'm pretty excited. I think I will probably do my toes with these ones as well. And Make sure you file this. I'm really bad. I like to just be like, one, two, I'm done. But uh, really follow the directions, file off the edges so it looks really nice. Um, yeah. Let me go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm not sure if you could see. I am not flipping you off, I promise. You can see the back side. Um, I believe Melanie sometimes leaves them like this. Um, I like to put um, like a top coat on it just to help smoothen out the wrinkles. My fingernails are very round and so if I don't do that sometimes I get little lines but a little top coat and you're done. I literally just did two nails. I don't have to worry about dry time. I can touch them. I can go and help my kids with their isolation homework. I don't have to do anything else and that's it. I mean, it takes seconds. I remember her telling me a story about Color Street Nails that the way this was developed was there was a gentleman who watched uh, women on the subway trying to do their nails before they headed into work and he thought there must be an easier way. Well, <laughs> dude's a genius because it literally is like a sticker that you put on your nail and you file off and that's it. I mean, you could have an entire manicure done in like five minutes flat, three if you're super quick at it, not too shabby. So 
I'm going to wear mine for the rest of the month to celebrate my son and all those out there who are on the autism spectrum. I even have my shirt on today that says, take a stand, different, not less. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all for checking in with this nail. Um, I guess this is kind of a nail video, but it's also talking about autism awareness and the awesomeness of people on the spectrum. If you want some more information about Color Street Nails or my representative, Melanie, please leave me a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to hit subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.